everyone welcome to the course of satellite communications in today's class we are going to learn about telemetry tracking command and monitoring okay so this telemetry tracking command and monitoring are with respect to the satellite as well as the earth station okay so in order to uh, communicate with each other okay so if you see here in this diagram we can see two main modules one is the satellite module and the next one the whole huge part is nothing but the earth station module okay there is a huge setup at the earth station both are communicating with respect to wireless communications okay with the help of antennas so these are the these are satellite antenna these are antennas related to earth stations okay clear right now this telemetry tracking as well as command with respect to monitoring the earth station as well as monitoring the satellite okay is uh, mainly done with the wireless communication system so sitting in an earth station we can gather complete information regarding this particular satellite okay so with what speed it is moving okay i mean which way direction it is moving what is the angle of the antenna of that particular satellite okay how the data is getting transmitted at what time the data is getting transmitted with what time slot what type of data or the packets is getting transmitted okay if at all you want to change the direction of an antenna or if at all you want to change the direction of the satellite itself okay whenever it is moving okay and with what velocity the satellite is moving each and every information can be gathered using this particular earth station system okay so gathering all this type of information is considered as a telemetry tracking command and monitoring system okay now uh, we have uh, many times in the previous sessions we have seen the concepts of satellites now let us see a block overview block diagram of an earth station so this particular earth station consists of antennas where of course one antenna uh can be used for transmitting and another antenna can be used for receiving the signals from the satellite okay and this particular receiving antenna is connected to a telemetry receiver and a tracking system okay so once the data is received you can see or track that particular satellite okay uh the position and where it's located okay and once the data is received it will be going to the telemetry receiver and that telemetry receiver gives the signal to the data processor now what happens this particular data processor process that particular data which is taken or received from the telemetry and give it to the attitude and orbit control processor okay so attitude and orbit control processor is nothing but the uh, processor uh, which deals everything about this particular satellite as i said position direction movement or the data transmission or receiving everything can be done by the earth station in this earth station also attitude and orbit control uh, processor does all these things or looks after all these things okay so once uh, the attitude and orbit control processor processes that particular data you will be getting the pure form of data which we are cutting uh, considering it as ephemeris data okay now suppose you want to send some data to the satellite in order to communicate with the satellite again the attitude and orbit control processor process the data whichever you want to send that will be given again to a controller okay so again the controller what does it do means it gives the data process data to the command transmitter so command transmitter with the help of a transmitting antenna it uplinks the data and sends the signal to the particular uh, uh, satellite whichever we want to consider okay so here so the telemetry tracking command and monitoring looks after all this thing. one is the receiving part and the transmitting part for all these parts the attitude and orbit control processor system is the major one in order to transmit or receive the signal okay now let's see the points one by one and uh, let's see some more important points see it collects data from many sensors within the satellite and send the data to the controlling earth station so we all know there are several hundreds of sensors which are surrounded um, uh, sensors which are uh, around this particular satellite okay so each and every data will be collected by the 
satellite okay using those sensors and that data whenever needed can be retrieved to the controlling earth station okay now several hundreds of sensors are located on the satellite to monitor the pressure of the fuel tanks okay we need to monitor each and every satellite right so in order to monitor the pressure of the fuel tanks voltage and current or the power conditioning unit okay or how much the satellite is drawing that particular current okay in satellite there will be several subsystems or several modules how much each module is consuming power okay if at all the power is less what are the critical voltages and current in that particular communication subsystem everything need to be monitored with the help of several hundreds of sensors attached to that particular satellite okay all that kind of data will be received by this earth station from earth station only everything will be done either automatically or manually okay now the temperature of many subsystem must be kept within the predefined limits and so many sensors are fitted okay so temperature also plays a major role with respect to the several subsystems in the satellite unit okay now whatever the data we are getting that is digitized and are transmitted using the phase shift key okay so we are using a modulation called phase shift keying and the data is digitized whenever it is getting transmitted or received okay wirelessly okay so this particular data also sent or transmitted or received with the help of time division multiple axis technique tdm now at the controlling station we can also call it as earth station okay so a several computer systems or a whole com huge computer unit is used to monitor store and decode the data which we are gathering from the satellite so that the status of any system or the sensors which are located on the satellite can be determined immediately so within seconds we can retrieve what kind of data we want from the satellite wirelessly even it is placed at thousands of kilometers away from the earth okay so alarms can also be sounded if any vital parameters goes outside our allowable limits okay so there can be an alarm kind of system in the earth station computer units so if at all there is any uh, fluctuations of any climatic conditions or any pressure if at all the satellite is undergoing or if at all there is uh, a uh noise or disturbance in a particular satellite communication okay or if at all any problem occurs in the satellite okay immediately within some seconds we can, we can able to get the alarms okay uh in the earth station computers which are available okay so there are several number of techniques that can be used to determine the current orbit of a satellite okay so velocity and acceleration sensors on the satellite can also be uh, used to establish the change in orbit from the last known position by integration of data so there are several sensors like velocity and acceleration which will detect the velocity and acceleration by which we can also uh, estimate the movement of this particular satellite okay now the earth station controlling satellite can observe the doppler shift of telemetry carrier to determine the rate which the range is changing suppose we all know that the earth stations are stationary but what happens to the satellite they keep on moving in the orbit right so whenever a transmitting unit is keep on moving in an orbit and the receiver unit is stationary there will be a change in frequency with respect to the velocity of that particular object okay that we are considering it as doppler shift i have explained this doppler shift concepts in the, uh, in the previous topics you can go through that okay so whenever a particular unit is transmitting some signal and keep on moving okay the frequency of that particular transmitted signal will be keep on changing that we are considering it as doppler shift okay so that also we need to observe using this particular earth station technology okay and an active determination determination of range can be achieved by transmitting a pulse of sequence or sequence of pulses to the satellite and observing the time delay before the pulse is received again so in order to uh, check whether the uh, satellite is uh, transmitting or receiving the signal with respect to time or not we can just send some sample pulses 
uh, to the satellite and we can get the acknowledgement and we, uh, with how much time gap we are getting the acknowledgement based on that particular time we can estimate the transmission and the re reception or how active that particular satellite is okay now the command system is used to make changes in attitude and corrections to the orbit and to control the communication system the whole command system okay if necessary it makes changes in the attitude as well as corrections of the orbit if at all the uh, satellite is not moving properly in the orbit okay so if at all some external forces are acting on the satellite which leads the satellite to move in several directions okay so what we are doing using an attitude uh, correction systems okay attitude processor uh, or unit okay present in the earth station we can alter the motion of this particular satellite such that the satellite keeps on moving in the same orbit itself with respect to time okay now the command structure must possess safeguards against unauthorized attempts to make changes satellite operations so along with the, all these operations security is also very much essential for a satellite such that only that particular ground station will need to access if at all all ground stations of several countries access the same satellite then what is the use of it and uh, here arises the security issue right so always uh, and uh, we need to have a security with respect to uh, this particular uh, national issues such that an, an unauthorized persons will not will be uh, attempted of any satellite operations okay so encryption of commands so providing security for the commands okay so whenever they are transmitting from the transmitting unit or the receiving unit or whenever the communication is done between the uh, satellite as well as the earth station the data or the commands will be always encrypted such that there will be security for them okay so after monitoring all the data okay so the commands are generated at the control center of the computer okay as i have already uh, explained while i am explaining the block diagram after monitoring all data it will be given to the another blocks where it will be monitored by the computers okay so all the communication satellites obtain their electrical power from solar cells okay so you might have observed all the several satellites will be having mostly or uh, the body is made of solar uh, panels right so the ultimate uh, goal of taking the source okay of a satellite okay is from sun only right so solar panels plays an important role while gathering the uh, energy using this particular solar panel with the help of sun okay so some deep space planetary research satellites have used thermonuclear generators as well so those are uh, the satellites which are used for particular um, uh, research kind of thing or if at all they want to research uh, with respect to other planets okay thermonuclear generators are also used so as that the energy will be uh, coming for much more time period okay so but the regular usage whatever the satellite we use for ge general purpose or communication satellites they don't use these kind of nuclear generators okay so so these are the power systems we'll be seeing it in the next class so the telemetry tracking command and monitoring okay it plays an important role and everything will be done with respect to the earth station itself okay so earth station will be having a huge unit all the process will be done okay transmitting and receiving the data if at all you want to uh, uh, if at all you want to give uh, uh, if at all you want to track the position of the data or you if at all you want to move this particular uh, satellite into several directions using the thrusters all the, those things can be done with the help of this particular uh, earth station system only okay mm -hmm.